Hello, this is Toll from Trifo Productions with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to show you or introduce you guys to an add-on for Instant Meshes called the Instant Meshes Bridge. Uh, this is only for Blender 2.8 and above, not anything for 2.79, just 2.8. And I, this is also a correct for, for a correction that I did with uh, another Blender quick tip, which was this one, Blender quick tip. Instantly cleaned up your models with the instant meshes add-on. Um, to me, instant meshes was I use it so much that it seemed to be an add-on to me, but it's actually just a standalone product. But with this particular uh, add-on, it, it is an add-on, and I'll leave a description of the uh, or a link of the description or a link of the product or the software in the description below this video. And the first thing you need to do is download instant meshes, which is on this page and once you've done that if you already if you already already haven't done this you need to also download the instant meshes standalone uh, product or software also once you've done those two things the next thing that you need to do is install it and you go to edit and then you go to preferences from here click on install and navigate to where you, you've actually installed or saved instant meshes bridge add-on onto your computer just find where that is and then install it I've already done that so let me cancel that out and the next thing you do is also important and that is to actually point the add-on in the direction of the instant meshes standalone software and to do this you have to click on this folder icon click on that and navigate to where you've stored or saved the uh, instant meshes add-on standalone uh, product and just direct this to that and I'll show you why in a few minutes now once you've done that we're going to use the same example we used before which is of the t-shirt and to find the instant meshes add-on click on object and it's right here at the bottom click on instant meshes and click on this little arrow to bring up the full menu now I've done a lot of experimenting with these parameters here these little um, little check boxes little extra pieces here and I've seen that the best thing you can do I mean they each have their own uh, specific uh, purpose but the best thing you can do for the best results is just activate all four of these which we're going to do right now and the reason why you had to also download the uh, instant meshes standalone product or software is because you can open this up in instant meshes by clicking this checkbox which we're not going to do at this point in time we're going to just leave it as it is now here you can set the crease degree which I don't really mess with I've, I've seen how that works and sometimes it comes out a little rough uh, for better results you can increase the, your vertex count but we're going to leave it at 2000 just for the sake of this tutorial and the smooth iterations you can increase or decrease that but two works pretty well now in order to actually see this uh, perform you click on start remeshing put a check box or just click on that box and you'll see it do what it does now it might take some time because I'm using a screencast software to record the tutorial but let's just see this gives some time it should be done here in a few minutes Oh, there it is now you can see it's done a pretty good job but as I said before if you increase your vert count you'll get uh, better results but for the most part it's pretty much cleaned up the mesh we had before and you can see that it's got quad definition it's got really good flow really good topology so that's what you would want and as I said before you increase the vert count and you probably will end up filling up these holes now, as, I, as I've mentioned in this uh, tutorial, this doesn't work with every single mesh. Some meshes it won't work with at all. It'll give you like really bad results. But just try it out. I mean, it's, it's open source. It's free. It doesn't cost anything. So just try it out and just, you know, see what it does. So once again, this is a Blender quick tip on the instant, message, instant meshes bridge add-on for Blender 2.8 and above.